It's actually human nature to keep trying, even against impossible odds. This battle tries to beat the speed of light with a rather strange experiment. So if you were to stand and spin around once every 2 seconds, which should be possible for most people, while the moon is above you and 385,000 kilometers away, you would technically be making the moon revolve around your head at 1.21 million kilometers per second. That's about 4 times the speed of light. For those of you who don't know what's going on, we are talking here about the speed of the moon as perceived by the rotating reference frame created by the spinning. This speed is calculated as 2 pi multiplied by the radius or the distance to the moon, divided by the time it takes for one revolution which is 2 seconds like previously mentioned. If we go ahead and calculate this, the result is indeed 1.21 million kilometers per second. Well lucky for us Einstein himself has provided guidance here, explaining that speeds cannot claim unlimited validity unless time and distance are clearly defined meaning velocities in different places like the moon and your spinning reference frame cannot be compared directly the moon isn't actually moving faster than light relative to its local space-time like earth or the sun it's simply appearing to move quickly from a very specific rotating reference frame which is the spinning person on earth information is not being transferred faster than light and there is no physics law being violated there Therefore, no, it doesn't work, but it was nice talking about it.